Would you like some flowers? They smell kind of weird though, but they're pretty. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's Maya. And today I present you the very much long-awaited video of my bookshelf tour. Yes, I actually have two bookshelves. One is over there. But that bookshelf I got more recently. It's not fully filled yet. So this is part one where I demonstrate, demonstrate, where I show you guys this bookshelf. And then, I don't know how long after this video, but eventually I'll upload part two, which is going to be the newer bookshelf. So this bookshelf is more old. It has more books, obviously, since I had this for longer. But it also has, I usually don't, if, I haven't read a lot of these in so long, like probably in a year or almost a year. But all of these books from my older bookshelf are from when I was more younger, like about from like 10 to 13 or almost 14. And then my new bookshelf is like me right now, basically. Also, my new bookshelf is mostly about YA, uh, mostly fantasies because I love fantasy. But this also has loads of fantasy, except this is more young readers. So let's get started, shall we? So, let's start from the top and make our way to the very bottom. And I'm going to be showing guys every single little thing that's on my bookshelf. Not just the books, but also the little things, like these. Enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe, as only a small percentage of my viewers is actually subscribed. Thank you! Right, so at the top, we have this stack this is a journal super old from like when i was i don't know about nine or ten years old next we have this painting that i did it's very pretty but anyways here we have the beverly cleary collection which i was obsessed with when i was about like i don't know from eight to ten i loved those books they're my childhood next we have um don't mind the camera but Next, we have the Ivy and Bean collection, which is also a kid's book, which I loved, adored when I was younger. And then over here, we have a book called 10 Things for Teen Girls, which I actually never read because it's kind of useless. And then, uh, um, does anybody remember these American Girl books? Yeah, I used to love them. And then we have this book, The Whispers and Wish and A Wrinkle in Time, which is actually a movie as well. On top of those books, we have this dry rosemary in a container. My next shelf is dedicated to the collection of Mix Books, which is a publishing company, and they have like some super duper fun middle grade books for middle graders. It's so much fun. My favorite from all of these would have to be Willows vs. Wolverines. Also, you'll notice I have a bunch of paper stars hanging on my bookshelf. Then we have this little unicorn and some Minecraft collectible toys. Oh yes, I also have fear lights draped across next shelf. So first we have the Cupcake Diaries, which I read in middle school and I loved it. And then over here we have the Keeper of the Lost Cities collection. I love this series. It is such an amazing series. I still love them. It's, um, I'd say, for middle school and high school. And it's so amazing. I'd recommend you guys it. I'd say it's ages 12 to 16. Next, we have some more mixed books. Except this is the Lost in Collection. Lost in Hollywood, Lost in London, Lost in Rome, Lost in Paris, and Lost in Ireland. My favorites from the Lost in Collection is Lost in London and Lost in Rome. Those are my favorites. Next, we have the Nancy Drew series, which I adored when I was around 10 to 12. And next, we have Remarkable, which is a book as well. Well, obviously, it's a book. What else would it be? A dinosaur? And at the edge over here, since I didn't have enough space, this is the latest book of Keeper of the Lost Cities Unlocked. Next shelf. Oh, yes, up here we also have some paper stars. I've probably seen. And this wand. 
as you've probably seen from my other videos, which I made myself, found a piece of stick in my backyard and made it, basically. So the next shelf over here, more for your lights, obviously, but here are more mixed books, obviously. And my absolute favorite from almost all the mixed books is probably going to have to be Postcards from Venice. It was such an amazing book. And right next to it, we have my little Harry Potter display. We have the first Harry Potter book. I've only read the first book because I watched the movies before. After I watch a movie about something, then the book doesn't seem that fun to read anymore because you know what to expect. Now I usually read the books first, so if I see that some, like a new series has come out but it's based on a book, I'm going to read the book first. And here we have Harry Potter's mom, Lily Potter, holding baby Harry Potter, which is so cute. It's a Lego. And we have this Harry Potter Funko Pop and this Harry Potter plushie. It's actually a keychain, but whatever. Next shelf, we have The Emerald City of Oz. I've actually never read The Emerald City of Oz, or I've never watched a play or a movie. I know the basic story, like how do about Dorothy, but I actually never like watched or read anything about it. Next, we have this. I loved, loved, loved this book. This used to be my favorite book when I was 11 years old, I think. It's called A Question of Magic. And the cover is stunning. I definitely recommend this to you if you are 11 to 13, then, or maybe even 14. You should definitely read this book. It will always have a place in my heart. And here we have the Unwanted's collection. Um, you can see that it's a bit damaged, but that just shows how much I loved reading this books. They were loved. On top of them, I have these two thingies. I forgot how they're called, but you get them from photo booths. It's of me and my sister. And I actually caught chitted or crockets i forgot how it's called but um i made this basically this little basket and inside it has some fidgets this is a never ending one And also some other ones, which one of them is a bit broken, but that's okay. The next book we have is The Book Wanderers. This was a nice book. It's not a favorite, but it was fun. And next we have Willa of the Wood, as well as Willa of the Wood book two, which is Willa of Dark Hollow. I haven't read that yet, but I might soon, because I did enjoy Willa of the Wood. And we also have Harry Potter's owl, Hedwig, and he actually is, um, sound detection or something. Hello, Hedwig. See, he does that. Anyways, next shelf. Next, the shelf is dedicated to one of my favorite series, The School for Good and Evil. As you can see, these books were loved as well. I love these books so much. You should 100 billion million percent read this. And look at the covers. Just look at the cover. Look how beautiful this is. Stunning. And the last and final shelf, over here we have a folder where I just keep some of my art and this giant sketchbook and a whole lot more sketchbooks and some notes books and um, here's another sketchbook and more notebooks and then over here we have Peepa, a uh, Peepa, no, sorry, um, Peppa Park raises her game. I actually didn't finish this yet. As you can see, my bookmark is still in there, but I read that almost a year ago and I still didn't finish it, but anyways, here we have a book called Twist My Charm, The Tea Shop Girls, which I loved. You guys should totally read now. Do it now. The Secret Ingredients and the Serafina series, Serafina and the Black Cloak and Serafina and the Twisted Staff. And then we have The Girl Who Looked Beyond the Stars, super pretty. And the girl who spoke to the wind, which is the same girl, um, but it's a series as well, as you can see, one, two. And then we have this, which is so old, I read this when I was like nine, I think. 
but the dust cover is off. I'm not sure where it went. I lost it, I think. I read it a few times when I was a little kid. I mean, I still am a kid, obviously, but I just mean when I was younger, like when I was 9 to 10 or 11, even though I'd recommend this book for like 11 plus. And we have this book called Sprinkles and Secrets, which I think I read when I was like 11 or 12. And that is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, uh, yes, finally, I did it. I did the bookshelf tour. Well, part one of it, at least. But I hope you guys are happy now. And, oh, yes, also, speaking about the school for good and evil, over here on this side of my bookshelf, we have the school for good and evil poster, which is so stunning. Yes. And it's a bit ripped, but don't mind that. Um, it was an accident. Also, I have two ukuleles beside my bookshelf. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys... I keep saying that a lot. But, have an amazing day, guys! Bye! By the way, guys, remember that you can always comment down below for videos that you would like to see from me. I try to check as many comments as possible and I will probably most likely see your comments. So comment down below and I might do it. Woo! See you guys later. Bye!